Hello, and welcome to Global Data Themes Instant Insights. At Global Data, we define a theme as something that keeps a CEO awake at night, as businesses that invest in important themes will succeed, and those that don't will fail. Hello, and welcome to Instant Insights. I'm Emma Taylor, and today I will be talking to thematic analysts Luke Gowland and Rachel Foster-Jones in thematic intelligence at Global Data. Following the news that UK government ministers are delaying plans to force companies to disclose their environmental impact. Hi there. Hi, thanks for having us. So Luke, what issues will arise um, from this delay? Why is there a problem? I think that ESG is often sidelined in favour of tackling short-term issues such as the current cost of living crisis. Uh, And while these issues do represent significant challenges for our global economy, we cannot afford to let these get in the way of progress towards a low-carbon economy. ESG is sometimes seen as tomorrow's problem, yet the day we breach the 1.5 degree target looms, so there cannot be another excuse to put ESG on the back burner again. Mm, Definitely. So, uh, Luke, how do you see this uh, impacting businesses? Having hosted the COP26 conference only a few months ago, uh, the government is starting to backslide on its sustainability commitments. But this won't necessarily take the pressure uh, off companies. So we're still seeing the investment community pressuring companies to act on ESG issues, uh, to improve their reporting transparency, and also to develop net zero plans and targets. Furthermore, we're seeing organisations increasingly require their suppliers to report on ESG credentials, Uh, and also to improve their performance on the key ESG issues. So whilst this news is slightly disappointing, uh, it won't allow companies to take their foot off the accelerator entirely. Well, good. Um, So, Rachel, we had COP26, you know, only six months ago. Um, Do you think we've lost momentum already? Well, um, I guess that during COP26, uh, the UK really revelled in becoming a sort of vanguard for sustainable disclosure requirements, you know, becoming the arena for setting climate-related goals and disclosure plans. Yet I think this U-turn exemplifies that the UK is holding back on its green transition, which is a shame. For sure. What do you think the consequences of uh, the UK holding back on its green transition are? What will they be? Well, I guess um, the Ukraine war has really acted to highlight our dependence on imported energy and has sparked investment in, say, um, traditional fuel production for short-term energy security. Yet, it is clear that the government is asleep at the wheel. Instead of seizing this opportunity to double down on renewables and improve our long-term energy security, the government has gone missing on its commitments at the first opportunity. And and just to add on that, Rachel, uh, I think that ESG has become a bit of a political football, but the reality is it's just far too important to deprioritise. Yeah, I mean, you're right. It would be extremely disappointing if it would take a climate-related catastrophe to return the focus of ESG back onto political agendas. But that's what it might take. Yeah, I mean, we can only hope it really doesn't come to that. But uh, thank you for those instant insights. Thanks for listening. And from us in Thematic Intelligence, see you next time.